Hello, this is Josh Hunter. I'm uh, presently in the city of Santa Monica, California. Uh, a couple things I'd like to talk about. I don't know if they're relevant, but... Uh... So, as you know, um, I'm a big fan of uh, the, the, the character uh, Cyclops from the X-Men. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch X-Men, the animated series, the, you know, in the early 90s. I really liked it. And, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I was a big, like, Wolverine guy. I'm like, yeah, go Wolverine. But as I got older, I'm like, I, I think I'm, I'm more of a Cyclops person. And um, as I've mentioned before, one of the things that I like about Cyclops is his whole... Uh, I mean, his whole... Not his whole character, but a great part of his character is that he, he has to have great self-control. To me, like, that's his great ability, is his self-control of this massive force. And in all the X-Men movies, first of all, with the X-Men movies, like, I don't know why they were... I mean, I haven't kept up with the... There's prob This has probably already been discussed, and it was written somewhere. But, I mean, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they have not decided to include the X-Men, which seems... A little unusual, but I guess they couldn't <laughs> they couldn't find the, the the bridge or something. I don't know. This maybe it's a political thing. I don't know. But um, I thought Cyclops always got like <laughs> you know who never really got enough. <laughs> you know who never really got a lot of play. Anyway, I couldn't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry. Okay. So I thought Cyclops, he didn't really get what, like, like he's a, he's a great X-Man. And, like, I don't understand why, like, he did, I mean, I, I know, like, Wolverine is like, a, you know, I'm the best there is of what I do, bub. But, anyway, so what I wanted to, this is what I want to see. I wouldn't write it. I'm, like, I'm not like a, I'm not like a, like I said, I don't do anything. But I would like to see this. <laughs> I want to see, like, a unique, uh, original Cyclops story. And, a, uh, like, a... It's a solo Cyclops film. So here's the basic idea I got. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I don't, it's not like anybody's like, oh, fuck this guy, we better fucking give him some, anyway. Um, here's my idea, okay? It's Cyclops and it focuses, this is a general idea. It focuses mainly on, on just Cyclops, not in his relation to the X-Men or even his leadership abilities. Because they always focus on him, like, being able to lead. Like, that's his big thing. Oh, he can lead the X-Men. He can lead the X-Men. Fuck the X-Men. Cyclops should be able to do what he wants. So, the, the premise of the film, it should be, like, similar. All right, it shouldn't be, but, I mean, it may be reminiscent of uh, Logan. You know, the, the, the film Logan or Old Man Logan. And in this series, let's say that Charles Xavier, okay, first of all, he's in jail or something. and so he Or prison. And his mental powers are all shut down and he's done. Similar to like they had in Old Man Logan. But Charles Xavier is out of the picture. Um, Jean Grey has passed away. And uh, all the X-Men are ne they're, they're disbanded. Or it, it is too difficult. The, the, the situation, the circumstances should be that it's too difficult to be like a superhero. To be like a costumed person. Like it's just, you, you like there's no room to be that. So... Uh, Cyclops ends up becoming like a politician, <laughs> a politician or something, and this may have already been done. Like I said, I, I haven't kept up with a lot of things. I mean, I, I, I may literally just be repeating something that has already been said. I mean, this looks like a very lazy fan fiction. But uh, anyway, in this film, I'd like I'd like there to be like a, a, a scene where. Uh, because Wolverine, he's always known for, like, you know, his berserker rage. You know, it's like, ah, you know, his claws, and he, he just goes wild or something. I want there to be, like, an equivalent version for Cyclops, except it should be, like, it should be so, like, fucking absurd that it would it would make Wolverine reticent. <laughs> That's, like, where, like, I want, a, like, a scene where, where Cyclops, like, like, his, his, like, where, because like, Wolverine has his rage scenes. I want like a Cyclops rage scene where he just like he just like goes like buck wild. <laughs> and I, I I want it to be so so moving or like so uh, what would you say so 
I know there's a better word, but let's just say powerful. So powerful that it would make like Wolverine step back and say, okay, Bob, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> That's what it, 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 it should, it should make like Wolverine like humble, like just like, okay, I got it. That's what I want. Cause all, like all this, the Wolverine show, like I understand like with his, you know, healing factor or whatever, but it should, so anyway, it should focus more on, it should show that Wolver or uh, that Cyclops is a, um, I guess he's a good enough X-Men on his own. And in it, I mean, there's still mutants around, and I wouldn't know who, like, because usually in these films you have a villain or something, but I'm saying there may not even be, like, a, a, traditional, fil uh, a traditional villain. Like, I'm talking, like, a psychological film about Cyclops, the X-Man. <laughs> All right? Now, you don't have to include Cable or anything. Like, it's not necessarily an action film. But the powers have to mean something when they use the powers. Like, when he uses his optic blast, it has to be for a very real and functional purpose. That's what I want to see, like... And I wouldn't know what to do. I mean, obviously, you know, just, like, shooting blast is one thing, but the timing, you know, like, like and why, you know, it's not just, like, to defend, like... Like, something... Because, like, what, what really moves me is, for example, like, in the... In, <laughs> In the anime Naruto, like whenever he has to defend his way of life, like that's the thing that really gets that get, that gets me is like when he has to do like he's not just constantly like um, there, there's this scene in Naruto where he's on a boat with Jiraiya and, and um, they're trying to get somewhere and and Jiraiya is using the Rasengan to propel the vehicle and Naruto says, "Man, it looks the uh, it makes the Rasengan look pretty cheap," you know. He just He's trying to push the vehicle forward. The Rasengan is like a, just a, a giant ball of energy. It's like a blast. Think of like, uh, like a very well-controlled Hadouken or something. Anyway, so um, Jedi is trying to propel the vehicle and uh, using the, the Rasengan. And he just goes, Rasengan, Rasengan, Rasengan. And, he, and Naruto says, it looks cheap. So I'm saying like, when because Cyclops has these optic blasts, it sometimes makes them look cheap because you can just use it willy-nilly. But if the if the conditions demanded Cyclops to have even greater self-control and that it were very difficult to be like a mutant, I think this would really give an opportunity to show Cyclops, to show you a side of Cyclops that we don't normally see. I haven't even read like a new comic book in a while. Things, these types of things may have already happened. Like I've been out of the loop for quite some time. But um, I think this would be really neat. You could give it like a really generic title, like Cyclops Annihilation <laughs> or something. Like, I, I don't know. I'd watch that. Like, I'd pay money. I'd go to the theaters. I'd take a shower to go see that movie. So, um, uh, I would... Um, so, yeah. So, well, I would like for him to... So, anyway. Um, I think that, was that was just something I was thinking about. And uh, I thought I'd have it recorded here. <sighs> Secondly, uh, on the off chance that you are watching this video for some reason, at some point you decide to have an argument with me, um, I think it's important that you should really make sure that you don't want to learn something that you don't want to know. Uh, before you decide to argue with me about anything, stop, take your time, and make sure that you really actually believe in what you believe. Because if you don't believe in what you are very strongly saying that you do, uh, I don't know. That's that's a specific pattern. Okay, that's that, that's a pattern that leaves a very specific watermark. And when people don't, when people aren't like sincere or genuine in the things that they claim to believe in, it's always noticeable, almost like a scent. <laughs> and uh, I just, I want to make sure that if you're someone who many people depend upon and you decide that you want to have an argument with me, and then somehow some flaw in your belief is revealed to you in a way so which you can never ignore it. I don't want all the people who follow you or who are part of your same system to just lose everything because you decided to argue with the wrong fucking guy. I know, this makes, like, this whole video makes me seem like... <laughs> I don't know, it makes me seem like something. But I'm just saying this for your own... Um, for your... For, for your own... 
for your own for your own good, for your own sake, for your own good goodness sake. Anyway, today was um, <laughs> I think it was I think it was I think it was a, a, a I know yes, uh, yesterday I had a video and I, I was very complaining about like you know a lot of things, but I've decided I'm just going to stop responding. So anytime someone asks me a stupid question, I'm just not going to say anything, and I'll just keep doing that. Um, there was this fear that if I didn't respond, that somehow like the people who asked me a question, like I had this very kind of obscure paranoia that if someone asked me a question and I didn't answer, like, that they would take that as license to, to go do something uh, unseemly. <laughs> uh, so, but instead, I'm just, if you ask me for a cigarette, I'm just not going to say anything. If you ask me for money, I'm just going to, I'm not going to say anything. If you ask me for drugs, I'm not, I will not say anything, I will not respond. And so I'm just letting you know now, it's... The days to me, the days of me responding to stupid questions are finito. Uh, finished. Kaput! All right. <laughs> I'm 33 years old. And I've got the best grades on earth. 